Hi friends, welcome back to Angular tutorial. So we already discussed about event binding, property binding and class binding in our previous video. So only the style binding is left. So in this video, I will cover about how to do style binding in Angular. So we can set inline styles of HTML element using the style binding. Okay, so we can add styles conditionally to an element to create dynamic styling. So let's see how it's coming. So this text is coming from our main component that is the angular main component that is app component. Okay, so if you go to the app component.html, we can see this text app component.ts. This is the main TypeScript file of the app component. Suppose here I want to add a tag that is p tag and inside the p tag I am writing suppose normal style binding. So first we will see normally how the style binding happen and then we will go advance step by step. Okay, so normal style binding. So how we can do the normal style binding. So first we will check what is in the browser. So we can see the normal style binding simply text. Now I want to add a color into it. Okay, so how we can do this. So use the style tag. So inside the third bucket we need to write the style tag and then style dot the property so which type of property i want to set so i want to set the color property so style dot color and i will set the color is suppose blue okay so in this way you need to write so within the double invert comma and inside the single invert comma we are writing this blue text okay so basically the blue is simple text there's a reason we need to write in this way okay so if we just go to the browser we can see the text became blue okay so this is simple style binding okay now i want to create a property and by this property we will add a style so how we can do this so let's create another p tag and suppose i'm writing any text that is style binding through property okay and i will create a property here suppose i need to create a text color property okay so right here text color and suppose the text color is green okay and we will use this text color inside the app component.html this p tag okay so simply write style dot color and we will use the property so text color is the name of the property so we will get the browser that is green so we will basically doing the same things but here i am providing the inline style and here we are getting this text color as a variable from app component HTML. So we are setting the text color value from the TypeScript file. Okay. So now I want to set the multiple style attribute. So let's take and another p tag. So in this p tag, I want to set multiple attribute property. Okay. So how we can do this? So suppose say write multiple styling attribute okay through component so we will create a component property so now here i am writing the multi select property so suppose here writing a new variable that is multi select okay and here we will add multiple properties so just like in this way so i will set color is green or blue you can add anything suppose in the previous we have a green so here i am writing the blue okay and i want to add another property that is text decoration so in how to write the text decoration so just text and then caps decoration okay and text decoration is suppose i am right underline okay and i want to set the font as bold so write font weight bold okay so i am selecting the three property for this multi select so now just use this so right here the style and then print the 
property that is multi select now if you go to the browser we can see the text which are blue which are underlined and also this is bold so here three types of style are applying in this text okay so we are getting these three things that is blue underline and bold now the interesting thing is we can add style conditionally so how we can do this so let's create a condition suppose when the error will happen it will show the green otherwise it will show the red so write a property that is has error okay and here i am writing the default is true that means the error is happen so i'll create a new p tag and inside the p tag we will add that is conditional style okay so simply write conditional style here and here i will write the style property that is style dot color and we will check this with this property that is has error okay so right here if a has error is true then it will show the red otherwise it will show the green okay so basically this is just like a ternary operator okay so i think you will know about the ternary operator so first we need to add the condition and then the question mark and the first things is the true and then if not true then it will come to the false so now if you go to the browser we can see this is red because the has error is true so now if you make this false then the it will go to the false condition that means it will be green okay so in this way we can use angular style binding so we learn about property binding event binding class binding from previous video and now the style binding you can understand so now we can understand all types of binding so next day we will learn some advanced type of binding that is the two-way binding so don't miss this video so please like and subscribe this channel and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so thanks for watching this video have a good day